everyone, welcome to a series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. This is all because of my broke Steam account of just 32 cents. This series is to show how you can find games no matter how broke you are. So if you'd like to follow me on this adventure, this is only the beginning and a playlist will be linked at the top right corner and description to which all the videos are on. Keep in mind, since these games are free, they may not have the best quality. And that's why I'm here to test them so that you don't have to. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of the series already, go click the card in the top right. Starting off to this series is Bald Work. This game is a puzzle platformer which allows you to play as a ball parkour and ride an office. Honestly, this game is a complete waste of time and I would not have played it if it wasn't for this series. If anything, I could find a game on cool math games that is more fun than this. It looks like it was made to be a mobile game, and honestly, I don't know why I should be playing it on Steam if I could have just played on my phone. Overall, 1 out of 10. Please, save yourself the time by not getting this game. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of the series already, click the card in the top right. On today's episode is Beatboxers, a fighting game combined with the components of rhythm and music. This makes for a very interesting concept in game overall. Although the game has very nice visuals, I found it a bit confusing on how the game was played. It was more controller focused than keyboard and mouse, and the people you could play were very limited. Overall, this game is a 7 out of 10. It could use some work, and it as it's a very small game, which is barely worked on as of now. The last update was back in April of 2019, which is disappointing as this game would be amazing with some polish. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of this series already, click the card on the top right. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at the game Bloody Walls. This game is a 2D pixel graphics action game in which the player has to go to different floors to collect items for people as they fight through monsters along the way. Each floor gets progressively harder. This game is fairly simple and doesn't need much of an explanation. The levels are fairly easy, although if you get hit once, you lose progress of the entire game, making it a bit aggravating. This game isn't horrible, as it is free and fairly enjoyable, but the little re and repetitive content can get boring quite fast. I rate this game an 8 out of 10 as there isn't a whole lot to criticize of its simplicity. Worth downloading if you want a short, fun experience for under an hour. Side note, the sidetrack is awesome and fits the action that happens within each moment. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of the series already, click the card in the top right. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the game Car Rumble. This game is a fun action party game in which players compete in a tournament with cars, trying not to get out by smashing into each other. Overall, this game wasn't too fun playing by myself, but would definitely be more fun with friends if we can get a party together. The controls are a bit weird and took time to understand. Honestly, I was kind of confused on how you win and I never seemed to get the chance. I never grasped the concept of leveling up the vehicle as it wasn't clear. I did like the art style and I thought it was a nice touch. Overall, I'd give this game a 6 out of 10. For me, it could have been better, and I'm sure it would have been a lot more fun if I had people to play with. And although I didn't enjoy this game, doesn't mean you can't. It's definitely well developed, unlike some of the other games in this series. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of this series already, click the card in the top right. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at the game Chaos. Chaos is a cartoonish FPS shooter game where there isn't much more than that. You go around in intricate maps and pick up guns to shoot enemies with. Oh man, when I say I was excited to make a script for this video, I mean it. This game was so fun and I got the most playtime out of one of these games that I've got out of any other game ever viewed. There almost isn't anything to criticize. The only thing there is to criticize is the player models. Styles to the guns to the way games play out to the destruction, to even the zero gravity that allows you to jump places. You can't go wrong with it. Overall, 10 out of 10. I would play this game all day if it had more players. I definitely recommend this game. This game truly says what it is. 
Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of this series already, click the card in the top right. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at the game Covid Chaos. Covid Chaos is a... Honestly, I'm not even sure what this game is. It's obviously intended to be a meme game and it should not be taken too seriously. But I'll rate it from a constructive criticism point of view. This game reminded me of a Flash game. While the actual controls themselves weren't hard, it's really hard to aim for the targets. I wish I could have gone farther in this game, but honestly, I couldn't stand playing after one match. Overall, this game is a 3 out of 10. I won't give it a 1 as it is intended to be a meme game as it's about COVID and the game was even released on April Fools. If you wanted to give yourself an intriguing experience, download this game. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of the series already, click the card on the top right. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at the game Distancing. This game is a 2D simulation game in which the player avoids getting too close to people, otherwise they might get infected by the virus and or spread it. I found this game very interesting, and it was short. When I say short, I mean it was literally 5 minutes long. I feel like, more than anything, it spreads awareness for the current events happening than actually being fun. Overall, I rate this game a 7 out of 10. The art style is very neat, and at the end of the game, it tells you results based on how close you got to people. It tells you estimates such as how many people you could have infected, and if you've gotten positive on the virus. Very interesting game, and I recommend trying it out for yourself. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free games, and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of the series already, click the cards on the top right. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at the game, Double Action Boogaloo. This game is a FPS parkour action game in which you choose a class and enter the match and run around and kill the other players. Honestly, besides the fact that you have to dramatically change the aspect ratio in your settings, otherwise you're completely screwed over, this game is pretty fun. It's almost like a third person Call of Duty. There's weird checkpoint races that you have to complete after a certain amount of time, and I didn't really understand why it was there. Um, there were some cool stunt moves you could do, such as rolls, backflips, and dives, and this game really enjoyable. Overall, 8 out of 10 for me. Could use some work, but if you want to play a quick 30 minute game, then go for it and download this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of this series already, click the card in the top right. Today, I'll be taking a look at the game Drunken Wrestlers 2. This game is a ragdoll physics game, similar to UFC, except with ragdolls. One thing I really enjoyed about this game is how much customization there is. I mean, you can customize everything about your character. Personally, I made mine Shrek. You can also make your own maps, which I didn't choose to do, but even the base mode is fun. The physics in this game make it hilarious, and in one of the fights, I knocked his head off and he kept on fighting. What a trooper. Overall, this game has to be a 10 out of 10 for me. There really is nothing to criticize about it. The soundtrack is a little bit weird if you listen to it, but if you just let it sit in the background, it fits perfectly for what you're doing. At first, I thought the controls would be a little bit weird to use, and I ended up liking more. There's so many different moves you can do, and honestly, please go try out this game now. Hello everyone, welcome back to the series where I look at free Steam games and rate them based on my enjoyment. If you haven't seen the rest of the series already, click the card in the top right. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at the game GET OUT! Yes, the exaggeration was needed. The name is in all caps. I'm not the biggest fan of escape room games, but still, I could tell this game was well made. This story made me interested, the voice actors did a great job, and it wasn't too easy. If anything, I'd say it was a little hard. Overall, I'd give this game a 7 out of 10. I found myself kind of sitting there, clicking on random things half the time, wanting to invest in the story, but after a while, it just got tiring and I gave up. But if you're into these kind of games, I'd recommend checking it out for a quick 45 minute experience. Hello everyone, and welcome to the end of the video. I'm sure a few of you have made it, but if you have, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you're feeling nice, hit the bell button to get notified of all my videos, and comment. Leave me a nice comment, or a negative comment, I don't care. Leave me a comment. Tell me what to do better, or... Tell me what you think. That's all. Bye.